What's up, Taurus? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot here to look at your week's energy starting July 15th, 2024. Okay, this week, Aries. I'm sorry, this week, Taurus. I just did Aries. Uh, I'm using the um, Ghetto Tarot to deliver your messages, not reading any uh, reversals. Just going to cleanse the energies from doing Aries reading, and we shall proceed with Taurus's reading messages. All right, so what is the potential energy for Taurus this week? Please show Taurus what they can expect. Energies for my bulls. Okay, here we go, Taurus. We're going to start off with the Hermit. Hermit is a major arcana that's usually neutral energy for me, meaning that, you know, it may be that you want to spend some time alone. Does it mean every day of the week? No, it just means that you need to grab a moment or something just so that um, maybe you need to think about something. Uh, it could be just in the form of meditation, detaching your energies from things that uh, you just need to pull back from. This also could be just you, you know, wanting to spend some time alone, reading, or catching up on a book. Um, if you are, you know, going within or need some time to spend by yourself to do some soul searching. The lantern is always the light at the end of the tunnel. So whatever that energy may be for you, uh, you arrive at whatever it is that you went within for. OK, so that is the hermit. Up next now, we have the Major Arcana, the Chariot. The Chariot is very positive. There's a welcome change occurring for Taurus in some area, okay? I just said in the previous videos that um, I don't talk about change as much with the Chariot, but now I'm beginning to talk about it. This card here always represents some sort of rapid and immediate change, but it's normally positive, okay? It's kind of hard to, you know, pinpoint exactly what the change is going to be and, um, you know, how it's going to turn out. But it's always going to be something uh, involving a change and something very positive. Um, some of you may be deciding to, you know, purchase a car. I always talk about that. This is a car movement. So you're drawing uh, towards something very positive or that energy is moving towards you. If you are traveling this week, you're safe to and from, whether it's work-related matters, vacationing. I equate the chariot with that of the star card. So it could be that Taurus, what you're wishing for, hoping for, praying for, may manifest and materialize for you this week. Social networking, social media may be an increase or you may see an increase of that type of energy, whatever your favorite social energies are. All right. Some uh, maybe deciding to purchase a car, car repairs, major or minor. Just don't be the bull that gets behind the wheel of the vehicle. Disregard the speeding limit. You will end up with a moving violation. I always get that with the chariot. On top of that chariot, you have the six of cups going down emotion. Yeah, going down memory lane, uh, feeling nostalgic. This card always represents good emotions. You know, it's an equal number of cups. Of course, what you give is what you get back. But somebody from your past is thinking of you in a good emotional way. And that could be a family member, a friend, somebody that you may have had some sort of romantic uh, twist with at one point or another in the past. However, they may reach out to you this week because they're thinking of you. Some of you may be um, also memorializing someone who was uh, in your life, someone that you know, close to. They're over on the other side. And... Um, if that is the case, I always throw the dates in uh, for the week that I'm reading for. So July 15th to the 22nd or 23rd could be the, you know, dates involving their uh, passing date or their birth date. All right. Then we have the page of machetes, which is having to make a choice. Uh, well, it's not really having to make a choice. It's new decisions, new actions, first actions, first moves. It's somebody who could be new coming in here who's interested in uh, Taurus and it can, you know, check you out on social media since it follows the chariot, which I equate the chariot with the star card. And that's my social media energy. Um, global network news. This is just, it could be local news coming in, information coming in. Um, what else? If we don't get the moon or the seven of cups, then this person who may be uh, beginning at the beginning stages of an 
having an interest towards you and they may be checking you out on social media. This could be a friend, coworker, or a um, neighbor, okay? They're just observing right now, checking you out. Um, but if the moon or the seven of cups shows up here, they may come forward to express themselves. Then we have the ace of cups. The ace of cups is the card of pregnancy news around you, childbirth. Also could represent a job offer, okay? It also could represent new romantic partnerships forming or platonic friendships. The ace of cups could also be the uh, kind of descriptor where um, emotions run deep. Now, this is an open general reading, so those emotions that run deep um, could be what you're receiving from others that are in your life, which could be family, romantic partners, and friends. And you could be sending that energy out towards them in a good way. On top of that, we have the Queen of Cups. So, of course, this is the mother of all love, who is always nurturing, caring, supportive, intuitive. Female energy it may represent, so it could be a female bull that comes in and sees the reading. Also, it could be your mother, your uh, auntie, your bestie, could be, um, who else? Any types of female energies um, that you may be connected to or that you know, who is full of love, who is always nourish, you know, nourishing, caregiving, uh, they care about the world and care about their families. To receive this card in your spread, the Queen, King, Page, I'm sorry, the Queen, King, Knight of Cups, Nine of Cups, and there should be one more, is always uh, an achievement of emotional happiness, satisfaction, uh, fulfillment, and completion. Okay? Now, I always say that the Queen of Cups when it comes to the energy of caring for others, you may work in the capacity of helping others, nourishing others, caring for others. And it doesn't have to be, you know, exclusive to the, you know, the health or nursing industry. No, this is a capacity of just being there. It could be volunteer work as well. Okay. Always volunteering, helping other people out because it makes you feel good to make you know others feel good. That's the Queen of Cups. Pay attention to your intuition this week. Okay, she's here to help guide you. Those inner voices or those prompts that you get are your own personal energies trying to ensure that you're making the correct decisions and choices moving forward. Okay, following the Queen of Cups here, now we have the, the Major Arcana, the Fool. The Fool is here, New Beginnings, Taurus, in some area. Now you may be... Um, you know, already thinking about doing something, if that's the case, then the fool comes in to say, go ahead and let the universe or whoever your higher power source of energy that you throw out prayers, mantras or affirmations to will be, you know, will be supportive. Um, seeking some sort of excitement or adventures for others, for other bulls who may not have anything planned or lined up. The fool always draws in some beginning and some area for you. All right. New positive beginning. Up next here, we have the justice card. Now you have the major arcana, the justice card, justice card, things being in your favor, feeling liberated, feeling, you know, feeling peaceful, feeling freedom scales here, always balanced. So it could be balanced energy in other areas. I could be reading for some bulls who may work in the justice uh, department or there's some sort of, uh, <laughs> excuse me. You may be dealing with some sort of legal issues this week. If so, it's going to be in your favor. I always pull in workman's comp being in your favor. <clears throat> oh, my God. What the hell? And also um, any other litigations being in your favor. Judgments being in your favor. Okay. So that is the justice card. Then on top of that, we have the King of Pentacles, which is your own energy. This is the boss in the workplace environment. This is the creditors. This is... Um, Promotions, this is substantial pay raises, could be bonus money. This could be just the expression of your own energies where, you know, you are valued and seen by others as dependable, reliable, stable, definitely good money handler. When it comes to love and romance, it could be um, a new romantic partner coming through. I always talk about they had pocket change, accumulated some wealth along the way. They may be running their own business or doing something very lucrative um, in the line of worker career that they have chosen. 
Um, they like the finer things of life, of course, um, but they're willing to share all of that energy with others. Could be business partnerships that are formed this week. Money is available if you are running your own business. This also could be an uh, indicator that bulls is, well, the Taurus individuals, that your money is on solid ground or is very stable. Then we have the major arcana judgment that's coming through. Okay, this is the card of awakening. Some things, you know, I usually say what's hidden in the dark comes to the light. Some things that you discover about yourself. And I always say it could be positive or negative. All depends on your situation. Some things that you discover about others, Taurus, could be positive or negative. But you are spiritually watched over here this week. Guided if necessary. And um, you just don't want to use the judgment against yourself or towards others. Always maintain a positive aspect of your own being and your interactions with others. And you shouldn't have any problems because the judgment card here represents karma. Always think about that. Karma, what you put out there, is what you're going to get back in return. Then we have the major arcana temperance. So, you know, peace restoration balance comes back into play here if there was some sort of instance of energy in your recent past where things were just a little bit off balance for you or unpeaceful or non-peaceful now the temperance card comes back here to restore all of that this card here represents relationships of course mother nature so some of you could just be spending some time outdoors and enjoying mother nature and god's beauty this card also emphasizes loving yourself, uh, nurturing yourself, caring for yourself, knowing your value, knowing your worth, and then having all of that energy extended out to the people who are closest to you. All right. On top of the temperance card, we have the five of swords in this instance here. You got to be careful still, Taurus, of people playing mind games, head games with you. Um, this energy could come in, you know, from any relationship, really, co-workers, romantic partners, friends, family members. You have to sort something out. There is an indication that you have to sort something out. Could be uh, internal stuff, could be external stuff, uh, but I see it always as a minor uh, thing. Also, too, Taurus, there could be something that you have or possess that someone is envious of. Then we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is money coming in. Some bulls are working hard for that grind this week. Um, the Seven of Pentacles could be saving up for something greater, but also, too, uh, could be uh, available options that may open up to you in other areas as well this week. So be on the lookout for that. Last card I have for you is the Devil. Okay, so the Devil is here. Um, devil always asks you to bring up to the surface and talk about those bad habits that you might have on a personal level. Uh, the people that are in your life that it seems to be toxic relationships could also be a toxic environment. Um, what's, you know, restricting you, holding you back, uh, making you feel chained, something that you're doing that's repetitive that you keep doing over and over and over again. Uh, the devil is always casting some sort of illusion out there to make you or trick you into thinking that whatever it is that you're dealing with situational, you know, yeah, situational wise or relationship wise, it is not what it is. OK, <laughs> things are not what it seems to be. Um, so the addictions could be family members, friends, romantic partners, um, but the impact of those addictions could be affecting the relationship that you have with them. Obsessing over something or someone could be just working too much and then you're spending too much time on your job. Other things or other areas of your life may uh, be suffering. So it could be social, romantic, platonic, family situation. Okay, you want to dispel and break the chains of whatever the devil is restricting you to or holding you to. On top of that devil, we're going to throw a card. And the last card for you is the Four of Wands. All right, so um, I did, did I, I forgot to mention too, this could be anything involving uh, the devil's energy. That is, um, I'd say, you know, pornography, uh, FWBs, friends with benefits, which is not really a healthy relationship because it restricts you from developing those healthy relationships that are going to be, you know, best for you. On top of that, um, 
double here, we have the, did I mention unrequited love? Yes, that also too falls underneath the devil's energy. But we have the happiness card here. This is celebrations, however, of all kinds, weddings, uh, birthdays, uh, anniversaries. Uh, someone may be deciding to move in, um, could be family with one another, could be friends, could be romantic partners, could also be proposals or engagements. It's always the shared happiness inside a structure of a building, Taurus, okay, with others. All right, so this is what I have for you this week, uh, Taurus. Not too bad. It's just soul from Intuitive Tarot, giving you my best impressions on what I feel the potential energy that may open up or occur for you. Take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. Please like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Always throw those comments in. I'd love to read the comments. You guys have a safe, great week ahead. Uh, come back to get more of these messages, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.